हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज अपूर्व गर्ग माय टीममेट्स आर भारतेंदु शर्मा एंड अनमोल गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट आर फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच इज टाइटल्ड एज मेडिकल रिकॉर्ड सिस्टम यूजिंग ब्लॉकचेन फॉर हेल्थ केयर फोर पॉइंट ओ अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ डॉक्टर रिजवान खान सर आर प्रोजेक्ट आई डी इज टू जीरो वन एट सी एस ई पी आई डी जीरो फोर लेट एस मूव टू द इंट्रोडक्शन हेल्थ केयर इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट इंडस्ट्रीज टूडे पीपल गो टू सी अ डॉक्टर सेवरल टाइम्स इन देयर लाइफ टाइम वेन पीपल गो टू सी अ डॉक्टर इट जनरेट्स मेडिकल रिकॉर्ड्स दीज रिकॉर्ड्स कैन बी मिसप्लेस ओवर टाइम एंड दीज रिकॉर्ड्स कैन बी यूजफुल इन ट्रीटिंग अ पेशेंट इन फ्यूचर Uh, these records are also needed to be kept secure so what is healthcare 4.0 healthcare uh, delivery is at a uh, dawn of uh, a foundational change into the new era of smart and connected healthcare referred to as healthcare 4.0 it is all about making healthcare more responsive through connected devices we use uh, latest and greatest technologies of our time such as blockchain and interno- internet of things uh, all this comes under healthcare 4.0 let us look at the literature survey of our project we have read several research papers to support our research attempts have been made in the past few years to digitalize the health records there are also attempts made to make these records decentralized and secure but there have been some problems with the systems one of them being easy accessibility of health records by people for example a mobile application would be very helpful Uh, to people to access these records easily in one of the papers an algorithm for improving data accessibility was proposed this resulted in improving data accessibility and blockchain was used for improving efficiency and security in one of the papers detailed study of the ipfs and blockchain based healthcare secure storage solutions was done it analyzed the existing solutions and their architecture which will further facilitate the future research and development of emerging ipfs and blockchain technologies in one of the papers blockchain based privacy preserving data sharing was proposed this resulted in secure and effective way to realize data sharing for electronic medical records so now let us come to the problem statement of our project there is a need for a system Uh, which can be easily accessed by everyone the record can be accessed using smartphone devices which are present with most people nowadays uh, hence a problem statement comes out to be creating a medical record system based on blockchain technology that can be used by people the main aim of the project is to make the record secure and easily accessible on a mobile platform and blockchain and flutter will be used to achieve this goal let us look at the proposed solution creating a decentralized system where the medical records of a person can be stored we want to create a system which can be easily accessed through mobile phones creating a system using a blockchain makes it safe to any kind of forgery the records will be immutable so that they cannot be changed uploading the records uh, will create a block on the blockchain with unique hash let me explain the flow of the project using a flow chart at the start we come to the login page uh, if a, an account of a person exists uh, uh, we go to login or else we go to sign up uh, uh, then after going to sign up we fill the information uh, which is required to login and register uh, a person then we click on submit and then we again go to login after login uh, we enter uh, the email id and password if the email id and password are valid uh, we go to the next step or else we go to login again if the email id and password are valid we go uh, to the dashboard we are logged into the dashboard uh, we get an option to enter the medical record then we click on submit after entering the medical record a connection is is made to the blockchain If the connection is successful we go to the next step if the connection is not successful we again need to click on submit if the connection is successful a block is created on blockchain and the record uh, is shown on the application and then we come to the end now let me tell you the implementation of the project the mobile application is creating created using uh, using the basic flutter application files 
Truffle init command is used to initialize a Truffle project inside the Flutter application. To link the Flutter application with blockchain, a library called Web3Dart is used. Uh, the smart contract is written using Solidity language. Uh, it takes an input, for example, a medical record and creates a block in the blockchain when executed. To compile the smart contract, Truffle compile command is used. To migrate the contract, uh, Truffle migrate is used. Uh, uh, truffle test command is used uh, to uh, test the smart contract. Uh, the uh, required libraries are added in the pubspec.yaml file in Flutter. Let us see the implementation part of the application. So here on the screen we can see uh, there is one Firebase screen and one application screen. So this is our database. Uh, it is made on Firebase and uh, this is our app. So here we have the sign up screen and here we have the login screen. So first using sign up functionality, we will create a user. So let us add an image using camera. And provide a Gmail. And specify a username. We also need to provide a patient ID and a password of at least eight digit length. And here we also have an I button to toggle the visibility of the password. And if we enter a wrong password and if we try to sign up, it will show an error and they put that the password does not match. So let us enter the correct password and create a user using sign up button. So file the processing take place it submit the record on the firebase so we will check on the authentication part whether the user is created or not so here we can see a user has been created with a specified email id and also in the uh, firestore database and that is all the data here and here in the users collection we have the user created with the email address So here is the user that is created using the same email address. And here are the same details that we uploaded on the app. Also in the uh, storage, we get the image of the user uh, that we have uploaded from the app. So here we have two folder in it, documents and user images. So inside the user images, we get the app, uh, we get the image. So let's filter it by date. So here is the image that we uploaded on uh, using the app. So here you can see uh, this is the same image that we uploaded. Uh, and uh, on the app we can see there are various tests listed in the home screen. So all these health uh, tests are coming from the health test collection. Here you can see all the uh, tests are uploaded. So from the home screen, we can just add it, uh, add the test into the cart. So let us add uh, the first three uh, health test and click on view card button. That is uh, after that we will be landed on the cart screen. So here in the order summary, we can also remove the test if you wanted. And uh, we can just uh, click on confirm order uh, to submit the order. So when we click on the button submit order, the order gets submitted in the user collection using the same uh, user ID. So here we need to check which user ID is this. So here you can see it the user ID is WYBW. So inside the order we need to exit WYW and here is the sub collection user order and here we get the all the order that we have submitted you can see the timestamp is also the same and it is 25 may wednesday and here are the two tests that we have uploaded and these are the user detail and this is the order status of the uh, order so here inside the orders screen we get the same order that we have uploaded and if we want to view the detail of the order and click on view detail and we can get the 
lab test detail, the uh, date time details, and user details. So here from the so if we want to delete the order, we can just click on delete order, and just if we want to confirm it, we can confirm it, and the user uh, order will be deleted. And uh, here we have the uh, request screen where all the request uh, of the uh, document view are submitted and this is screen contain user profile contain the user detail name email address and uh, patient id and here we have the add document part uh, so we can add the document if we click on the add button it will just take us to the uh, phone directory and if we try to upload the any document and let us select any one of them and it will just start uploading and the uh, document will be submitted on the file store so here we have the document collection and uh, here is the user that uh, uploaded the document so this is the file the, uh, URL and this is the PDF name and this is the time created so when we upload the uh, file uh, a field uh, document is created or uh, you of the uh, document uh, details and inside the storage database we get the PDF file stored so here in the document folder we have all the documents so this is the pdf that we have uploaded so let us view if it is the same and if we want to view it we can just view it from here and uh, if you want to request any document from any user we can just uh, select the user and uh, send a request to that user to to enable us to view the document and here inside the uh, settings folder we have the setting part so here we have implemented to uh, additional functionality uh, that is the enable fingerprint and secure app so uh, we enable the fingerprint uh, functionality we just need to toggle it the button and the fingerprint uh, functionality will be enabled so we just go back uh, so here we can see after clicking uh, on the fingerprint enable button we need to first verify the our fingerprint so it is verified and now we can uh, see the app content and also if we go inside the settings screen there is one more secure app uh, secure functionality and if we enable it it will just uh, stop uh, sharing the screen of the mobile on the laptop so we uh, switch it on the, the, we can see the entire app content become black and if we just go back on the mobile app we will able to see the content and if we just uh, open the app from this uh, drop down we can see there is a one black screen blank uh, black screen and if we just uh, open it we can again see the app content is not visible when the screen is sharing so now if we disable the secure app feature will able to access the content of the app uh, via sharing see if we enable it it become dark and if we disable it it become visible so here we have one more reset fun password functionality and if we click on it it will send a email on the our gmail account so let us see whether we get the link or not so here here is our gmail and we can see we we have received the reset password link on our registered email and if here we go get the get the link to reset the password so here we see need to enter the new password so if we uh, previously we entered 129 password so we will just reverse it and see it is 987654321 one and if we try to save it it will just change the password so password changed and if we try to uh, uh, log out the app uh, so first we need to verify the fingerprint 
so we try to open the application again we need to first verify the fingerprint because we have enabled the fingerprint so after verifying it we need to enter the, the email and we enter the previous password we must get the password as wrong so here we can see we got the error and if we try to enter the right password then it should log in so here you can see we get the application and uh, so this is the part that we have created using flutter and this is the our app thank you to easily understand the blockchain process let us create a record we can see that uh, currently we are at block number 93 when we enter a record for example a sample record and we when we click on submit there is a block uh, recorded which is block number 94 Previously we were at block 93. Now we are at block 94. If we click on this block, we can see that there is a unique transaction hash which is unique for he each block, and there is a block hash which is also unique for each block. There are several blocks. Um, each block is created when a record is submitted. Now let us look at the results that we have achieved. we were able to create a blockchain based application which makes it easy to access the medical records for people uh, multiple security features are present to make uh, the application secure records can be uploaded in the application and can be accessed at any time in the future let us look at a comparative study uh, the comparison is between the traditional medical record uh, keeping approach Uh, the blockchain based medical record keeping approach and the proposed approach um, our approach uh, keeps all the uh, uh, features of uh, uh, the blockchain based medical record approaches which have been proposed like privacy of records control of records and immutable records it also adds a mobile based approach through which uh, um, a person can easily access the medical records So now let us uh, conclude this presentation. Uh, blockchain is a technology which can have a huge impact in the healthcare sector. Uh, more and more people are using smartphone these days, so there is a need for a mobile-based system which can keep record of the medical history of a patient in a secure way. Blockchain helps to achieve this as it provides immutability and security like no other technology present today. combining blockchain technology with with mobile application development opens a lot of doors uh, for innovation uh, in not just healthcare but many other industries these are some references which are used in this presentation thank you